What's happening, y'all? Everybody, welcome to the video, man. I'm about to break some shit off to y'all real quick, man. Um, with this video, man, I want to talk about Terrence Crawford and how I feel like he screwed himself with the with the Bob Earl lawsuit. I, I think he gonna lose this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a hundred. I think the nigga gonna lose. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. So as y'all come into the video, y'all subscribe to the channel. You ain't subscribed already and like the fucking video. Now, let me play this real quick. Turn this shit up. I'm not even worried about Aerosmith no more. I, I already told everybody that fight is, is history for me. I mean, let me replay it or go back a little bit. Spence. Oh, I'm not even worried about Aerosmith no more. I, I already told everybody that fight is, is history for me. You know, I'm not. One more time. Because I want y'all to hear the, the interview. E, uh, uh, Dazzin. At least for his next fight. How are you feeling about the prospect of a unification fight with Errol Spence? Oh, I'm not even worried about Errol Spence no more. I, I already told everybody that fight is, is history for me. You know, I'm not thinking or nor worried about Errol Spence anymore. You know, uh... So, uh, before I even continue, I gotta make a couple of disclaimers because this, this is what I like to do, you know. You know how niggas like to say allegedly all the time. I gotta make a couple of disclaimers. First of all, I'm not a fucking lawyer, criminal justice lawyer, prosecutor, none of that shit. <laughs> Ain't none of that shit. I'm just a normal nigga with common sense, right? So, because I got to say that because if y'all ain't been paying attention lately on YouTube, I've been seeing a whole bunch of guys popping out with uh, podcasters and shit like that. I'm glad they doing their thing, but... The shit I don't like is when I see niggas like when I see niggas um with that YouTube channel like when the rappers die like Young Dolph King by all the all these different rappers die and shit like that it be a slew of a new podcast coming out you know what I'm saying with these niggas who actually breaking down the murder as if these niggas are the detectives you know what I'm saying I be like nigga if this ain't the most police shit I ever seen bro. I know I ain't the only nigga that be saying this shit. I mean, I'm literally niggas is coming out saying this nigga did it. Yo, God, he got paper route. Young dog killed. Literally saying it, bro. I said, man, this ain't the most police shit I ain't ever seen. So I know we in a different kind of space with this boxing shit. We into sports and shit like that. I still got to put my little disclaimer out, nigga. I ain't no fucking lawyer, nigga. And, and. Nigga, ain't no public prosecutor, none of that shit. You heard me? This is just a nigga with common sense who put some shit together and telling you how I feel. My my opinion, nigga, that's it. <laughs> so look, as y'all just seen with that video, man, you heard Terrence Crawford saying, ain't no Earl Spence fight, nigga. Fuck a Earl Spence. You heard me? That's what he just said. So I can find you multiple videos. Multiple. I might toss a couple more of them bitches in the video somewhere. It's multiple videos of Terrence Crawford on Earth saying that he ain't worried about Earl Spence. But then, he got the lawsuit with Bob Earl saying that he couldn't get me the Earl Spence fight due to racial bias. I just want to know if one of you lawyer niggas can't get in this motherfucker to let me know, nigga. How the fuck can Terrence Crawford sue Bob Earl, right, for saying this shit? I mean, for 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 not getting him the Earl Spence fight. But then, it, it's multiple clips of him out saying, fuck the Earl Spence fight himself. As if he don't even want the shit. So I really feel like the nigga fucked himself. You know what I'm saying? I feel, I feel like you fucked this up with storming the nigga. But then I, you know, I think again, like, maybe this, you know what I'm saying? Because I like to think deep, deep, nigga. So I, so I be thinking, like, maybe this shit is all a ploy, right? Because he know, maybe he know he going to lose. And he just want Bob Run to still promote him while he ain't with him. Because he know us niggas going to talk about this shit. So it, we are already locked in, you know? So maybe this is a way to keep... You know, but I'm like, nah, 
That nigga might not be that smart. Because <laughs> then that's like a waste of money and shit like that, ain't it? So it's like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it ain't spending as much money as 30%. Maybe it's spending some little money that the lawyer money, the court, and all that shit ain't, you know, as much as 30%. He be getting by, used to get by Earl for his fights. Maybe that's the case. But then that's just the second thing I be thinking. But my first mind telling me he fucked himself. Yeah, let's play it again one more time, nigga. Yeah, let's play this shit again, nigga. Let's listen. <laughs> You know, Errol Spence was here a couple of months ago, and I told him there's only one fight, and that's Terrence Crawford, but it doesn't look like he's headed in that direction, at least for his next fight. How are you feeling about the prospect of a unification fight with Errol Spence? Oh, I'm not even worried about Errol Spence no more. I, I already told everybody that fight is, is history for me. You know, I'm not thinking or nor worried about Errol Spence anymore. You know, uh, that's... I mean, what kind of shit is that? Let's find some more since we own this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, Let's just go down some more. Find some more of this shit. See if I can find some more real quick. I can really do a deep dive, edit this shit, throw this shit. But since we on this shit, let's find some more. Because I know you niggas remember. Plenty of times on um. Let me, let me try this. Because Terrence Crawford always come out and be like, I don't need no real spin. I don't need him. So I, to me, that's an easy win for Bob Earl type shit, right? And Bob Earl is a lawyer, ain't he? Last time I checked, that nigga was a lawyer before. He the king of suing niggas. You know what I'm saying? He might not have been able to beat uh, Al Heyman, but that nigga like the king of suing motherfuckers, man. Right? <laughs> I'm sure he got all this shit set up for for he was already ready for some shit like this from Terrence Crawford. Yeah, we got uh videos out here with Bob Ram saying how saying little shit, but we got plenty of videos of Terrence Crawford saying about the shit too. You know what I'm saying? Saying he don't need Earl Smith or fuck Earl Smith. Leaving the interviewer nigga who trying to interview and ask him about Earl, he be like, I don't wanna talk about it. It ain't happening. It's just plenty of those videos, bro. I can't find them right now. I'm going to try to find one at this video. Toss it in. I'm going to try to find one. But, yeah, man. Let Tell me how the fuck can <laughs> a turn swap and win some shit like this, man. That shit like a setup, bro. It's like the nigga set itself up for failure. Because... This is what I refer this shit to, man. This the this another problem with all these turn Crawford Earl Smith shit. This a problem, right? I don't know how many of y'all niggas into hip hop and shit like that, the hip hop scene, the culture and all this shit, but if you pay attention, man, we got a rapper by the name of NBA Youngboy, right? And we got another rapper that go by the name of Lil Dirt. NBA Youngboy got an artist named Quando Rondo. Lil Dirt had an artist named by King Von. King Von, Quando Rondo got in a little situation, shit like that. Shit went bad. A little scuffle. King Von punched off, stole off on, on, on Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo popped in a little tin, came out, popped, you know, a little shit like that. Then one of, one of, um, you know, some other little shit transpired. If y'all don't already know yet, it's up to y'all to research. It's another, it's enough police niggas around who break it down that type of shit. But what I'm trying to say is, when Lil Dirt drop an album, right, you see every other person who a rapper always post his album on Instagram, post his shit for support. When NBA Youngboy drop an album, it ain't that many niggas posting his shit. Not because blacks don't support blacks. Well, whatever the fuck you Power Ranger niggas be saying, man. Ain't that what y'all like to say, Power Ranger? <laughs> whatever the fuck these niggas be saying, it ain't because of that, nigga. What is what is because of? Because 
Ain't no more Martin Luther King. I know Martin Luther King that was yesterday, but ain't no more Martin Luther King, my boy. Ain't no more of that shit, bro. So I be saying a lot of shit that I don't agree with, but it ain't that serious. But I'm just saying, like, ain't no, it ain't none of that shit no more, man. What is, it's about networking and shit like that. Niggas ain't posting NBA Youngboy album because he cut himself off from everybody. Because that's what he wanted to do. While he was cutting himself off from everybody, saying fuck everybody, fuck the world, Lil Durk was out networking, doing features. You know what I'm saying? Doing a motherfucking album with, with Lil Baby. Doing numbers called The Voice of the Heroes. He was out doing features with this artist, this artist, this artist. Guess what? Guess what NBA Youngboy was doing? Nigga, I ain't doing a future with Fuck y'all niggas. That's what he was saying. He was saying, fuck y'all niggas. He was saying, fuck all these niggas. He don't want to do no features. He wasn't networking. So when that al when it's album time, you looking around, you like, okay, why ain't nobody NBA your boy like he ain't say this, but I'm just saying. Nigga, you know, niggas like, why ain't nobody posting NBA Young Boy shit? Oh man, y'all trying to blackball him. Ain't that don't that sound familiar with Terrence Croft? You know, niggas ain't trying to blackball no motherfucking NBA Young Boy. The niggas in that where he wasn't fucking with niggas, man. You you can't not be fucking with niggas then when your shit dry, you want niggas to fuck with. What type of shit is that, man? It's like me with my channel, right? It's like me with my channel, right? You know, on the come up, fucking with everybody, genuinely, still do. You know what I'm saying? Not every, not everybody, but you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, you know, your 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 money browns, your yeah, he knows the sports. Your fucking Ashley corners, but that's like my sister, so they don't count. Like everybody, motherfucking who got a channel, Katina Regines. I'm fucking with all these niggas, man. I support they shit. They support my shit. You come up. Make your YouTube channel and you like, fuck all these niggas. All I'm doing is making this videos. <laughs> Trills Boxing Talks is a bitch. Even if... <laughs> you remember, just listen to me. He like, Trills Boxing Talks a bitch. 78 Sports, a motherfucking fake-ass pimp. Uh, 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 Barbershop Conversation, a fake-ass Malcolm X nigga. I, I did not... I, you know, I need some views and shit. I, I start posting videos and shit like that. Niggas ain't commenting on my video. Niggas ain't liking my shit. Niggas ain't telling nobody about my channel. I'm gonna come up. And then I'm like, damn, these niggas ain't fucking with me. Nigga, you say fuck everybody, nigga. That's what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I be saying the shit I be saying. Because you, I don't know. You just got to be born a, a real nigga, bro. You can go the solo route. They be like, fuck everybody. On some NBA young boy shit, some turns crop and shit. But then when shit turn around, you need nigga support. You got to keep that same energy. You got to lay in the bed, you lie, nigga. You hear me? Yeah, the bed you made or you got to lay in that motherfucker. So when niggas come out, right, like they want to band together and be like, man, we got a roof for turns crop because it might help other fight, nigga. Fuck, nah, nigga. That shit ain't going to help nobody, nigga. That shit ain't gonna help shit. What's gonna help niggas is not signing the Bob Earn. Looking at what the next nigga doing, learning from the other niggas' mistakes. I ain't gotta always make the mistake to learn. I can walk, look at a nigga make a mistake right now. Everybody fucking with this bitch and everybody says she a hoe. No, no, I got something better. You got NBA young boy, I mean, uh, NBA players running around and shit, right? All these niggas like fucking the same bitches and all these different type of shit. We know this shit, but, but you know, even rappers and shit. Like, like, it's a bitch named Brittany Renner, right? She said, she came to a college camera and said, hide your sons, right? So, because it's a thing, because she got pregnant by this NBA player or whatever, and, and they say she, she taking all the nigga money. Playing, you know, got pregnant on purpose and all that shit. 
everybody telling you this bitch is taking money, this bitch a sucker nigga dry, and all this different shit. But here go your little sucker ass come around fucking with this stupid ass bitch and, and you end up broke and she take all your motherfucking NBA contract. And then then you want everybody to turn around and be like, hey man, what the fuck that fucked up was happening, bro? Yeah, it's fucked up, but the nigga, that's on him. We told the nigga. Everybody said that bitch a hoe, she ain't shit. And you went to go fuck the bitch, marry the bitch, cuff the bitch. Cause she had some good pussy, you didn't got him. You you didn't cuffed her, got her pregnant and all that shit, and, and, and had some kids, and, and you going broke. That's your fault, my nigga. You got lay that. You got lie in that shit, bro. So that's how I look at it with this Terrence Crawford shit, man. You ain't, you know you got to you know ain't nobody. A lot of niggas talk about how you promote yourself or whatever, and and, and you got to do Mayweather shit, nigga. No, you don't. The fuck, nigga. No, you don't. Earl Smith ain't do that shit. He went, he fuck around with the internet and he was making numbers on TV and he was putting up good ass fights. He still ain't that nigga to, to where he he out of courage to acting like Mayweather or no shit like that. So I'm just saying, man, a lot of shit niggas do, man. I don't be agreeing with that shit, man. Like, Terrence Crawford, man, he blocked himself off from everybody. Now he need nigga support. Right? And I guarantee the same nigga saying they gonna support Bob Allen with this shit. I mean, uh, Terrence Crawford with this lawsuit shit. Terrence Crawford fuck around, come out right now and say, fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> you heard me? He didn't say, fuck y'all niggas. Yeah, y'all support. You heard me? He read take the route to make niggas matter who he feel like hate on. That type of nigga Terrence Crawford is. Yeah. So, I'm just saying, man. I feel like that nigga Terrence Crawford set himself up for failure. Um, and he gonna lose his lawsuit. If I'm wrong, and he sued the draws off of Bob Earl, then it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the solution to this shit, I don't feel like this shit gonna help nobody. I feel like the, no other f future boxers and no shit like that. I mean, it sounds good and all that shit, but I don't think that's the case. I feel like all niggas got to do is stay the fuck away from uh, Bob Earl. Make sure your paperwork's straight, right? Because just like this hip-hop shit, you heard, steady heard niggas saying they don't get paid for their music. They getting a 360 deal, but niggas keep telling y'all niggas, watch what y'all doing with these major labels. So I'm just saying, like, with, with, don't sign with Bob Earl. Make sure your paperwork's straight. If you do, I, I guarantee you should cool. Steve's ain't in the same situation that Turner's Crawford was in. I guarantee you, nigga, because he got Jay Prince, made sure that shit was right. So, with Terrence Crawford, I feel like you got to have the right people around you. I feel like you got to make sure your paperwork is straight. And I feel like, my opinion, nigga, and I feel like, uh, because look, man, Bob Ruffin die. Let's just keep it honey. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> he better die, nigga. So ain't nobody, you know, it's gonna be some a new sheriff in town. When niggas get top rank out the way, it, it's gonna be some more niggas who who ripping fighters off, and we ain't gonna find out what the fuck going on for thirty years from now. So nigga, look, man, niggas gotta get that paper right, man. So y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel, yeah, subscribe already. I'm gonna get on up out of here, man. I feel like. That nigga fucked himself, and I'm out. Deuce.